This health officer is teaching people to fight a sickness that has afflicted humankind for centuries, guinea worm disease. Villagers are taught how to avoid infection and to prevent the spread of the parasite responsible, the guinea worm itself. This is vital because wherever the disease has gotten a grip, village life comes to a virtual standstill. There has been a large drop in agricultural activity in the village as a result of the guinea worm outbreak. Guinea worm is still a major threat in remote villages like Tertsawa in Nigeria's northeastern region. But the disease could soon become a thing of the past. Ten years ago in Nigeria, there were over 650,000 people infected. Now there are just about 7,000. But that still makes Nigeria the world's second most affected country after Sudan. Modern medicine still has no cure to offer the victims. The female parasite grows within the human body to a length of up to 90 centimeters, or three feet. It then migrates, usually to a lower limb, where it forms a painful skin lesion that can become exposed to the outside environment. The worm starts to emerge through the blistered skin and a slow, excruciating process begins. The lesions usually develop secondary infections, leading to further inflammation and pain, which the patient must tolerate as the worm is pulled out a few centimeters per day. It's a procedure that can take several weeks. If the emerging worm is broken and the remainder retracts into the wound, it causes further complications. When rampant, the disease completely incapacitates normally active people. For the past three months, I have not done any work because of this terrible pain. Some scholars believe that the very symbol of medicine itself, the caduceus or winged staff entwined with a serpent, depicts the ancient way of handling the disease. The worm is carefully wound around a stick as it emerges from the victim's skin. When people with emerging worms step into water, seemingly the only way to quell the burning pain, the parasite ejects thousands of larvae or eggs. A tiny water flea called cyclops then swallows the larva. The infection cycle starts afresh when people drink from stagnant water sources that contain the fleas. 10 to 14 months later, the worm will begin forcing its way out of its unwilling human host. Hope is strong for finally eradicating guinea worm from Nigeria within two to three years, but it will not be easy. There's still a lot to do, because when you get to the terminal stages, where you have few cases, it is difficult to identify, it is difficult to contain, because we really don't know where they are. And one case can blow up and become a serious problem. So we are putting every effort in place so that we get rid of it once and once for all. The eradication effort depends entirely on education and prevention through safer water supplies. Program partners include neighborhood groups, state and federal authorities, and the Carter Center's Global 2000 program. UN agencies and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control play a full part too. And the UN Foundation, established by American media entrepreneur Ted Turner. One specific piece of aid is the donation of cloth water filters to combat the Cyclops fleas. I think all that we have seen is that there is a concerted effort now by all the partners to get rid of this disease that has caused a lot of problems to the communities and has continued to provide, I mean, to make the communities poor. And I think there is a global phenomenon of trying to fight uh, the diseases and also improve the economic powers of the people in the community. The final solution will come from the provision of safe sources of water, as villagers are able to filter their domestic supply and also treat contaminated ponds with chemicals to kill the water flea and the infectious larva. Even in the absence of a medical cure, a terrible disease is being defeated by practical cooperation, local and international goodwill determinedly applied. This report was prepared by Chaim Letevsky for the United Nations Foundation and UN Television.